Hey guys, Ruben here and I just wanted to give you a quick look today at CM9 or Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 running on the Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 um, I did say Android 4.0 didn't I? I didn't say Android 5.0 It's late um, But yes, anyway Android 4.0 running on the Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 This is the international version hence the um, Let's get the lighting in there a bit the hard button, presence of the hard button. Um, this there's been still a lot of problems with this ROM and it's still in alpha stages. Uh, but I thought it's nice to finally see it on this device. Uh, so what what are the problems? As well, the problems are the camera. Cameras, you see, uh, 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 <laughs> sorry. As you can see, the camera doesn't work at all. Um, which means that even with the front-facing camera up there, you probably can't see it. Um, just in the corner there the face unlock will not work. In fact, I don't know if the face unlock um, setting is in there. Probably not, or if it is, it probably won't work. Face unlock setting is in there, but as you probably, yeah, face unlock couldn't start because the camera is totally broken. Um, there's a fix, there's three files you're going to have to install. The ROM itself, the fix, which fixes the home buttons and includes the kernel for the international version of this device and then gaps if you want it which is just your google apps um, I'm already signed in so uh, talking about the problem still the camera doesn't work Wi-Fi seems to work fine for me other than the fact that as you can see just get the focus there's no bars for signal so I don't know I suppose that's a minor problem really considering you know Wi-Fi does fully work and um, as you can see, it's all ice cream sandwich 4.0 goodness, including including sorry, widgets that um, should work. Let's try it here. Uh, okay, the app isn't installed. Um, try Gmail. Oh no, that's installed. Yeah. And okay, so that works. So, uh, so yeah, we have the Wi-Fi, we have the camera that doesn't work, um, and we also have vibration that doesn't seem to be working. Um, so you're not going to get any vibration with this device running on this ROM but everything else seems to be fine and I haven't had any problems um, the one problem I have come across is some apps don't seem to be working uh, I tried to download Quadrant to see if I could get, get it to test to show you what the score was but Quadrant doesn't seem to be opening it just seems to be forced closing each time um, also with the fix included as you can see these do work but I can't get the home button to work I can only get the back button. So yeah, the home the home button doesn't work, but the back button does, and so does the um, the settings button, as you can see. Browser works fine. Um, ice cream sandwich 4.0 browser. It's full ice cream sandwich 4.0. But actually, life seems to be okay as well. Um, <laughs> as you can see here, we have messaging app for some reason. Obviously, you can't get 3G with this device, so it's a waste of time even it being there. You could probably install that if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, it seems to be fast, it seems to be smooth, it's nice. I think it is rolling at stock 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, obviously single core. That's oh, not yeah it is sorry. Uh, there you go. See it's running at 1.2 gigahertz stock. Uh, you can obviously change that to whatever you want if needs be. Uh, so we'll just turn it off here. I'm just rebooting to, as you can see, sorry, you do get all these options common with CM9 or Cyanogen Mod 9. I'll just reboot into recovery. I'll just show you how to install it um, if you wanted to install it because, like I said, there's free files. I will include the links to all three below. Um, it's taking its time to reboot, which is good. <laughs> um, but, like I said, you know, it's, it is an alpha ROM. So I wouldn't be expecting amazing thing. Well, amazing things from it, but it's great that the developers have, you know, got this working on this device. So here we are. Here you're obviously going to want to wipe data first. Um, factory reset it. But once you've done that, you're going to want to install the zip. Uh, okay. So the order of the zip. It seems to me like it's a lot of trial and error according to your device. Um, but for me, I installed the ICS alpha zip first which is the main zip and then I installed the patch which is the kernel and the and the button fixes um, and then I had to reboot the device and then I had to reboot 
back into recovery and then install gaps because if you install gaps straight after these two for me it just wasn't working um, so yeah that's it guys thanks for um, thanks for watching this video uh, please like down there and, uh, and share if you want with Google Plus Twitter or Facebook and the subscribers up there and it's free just in case you didn't know <laughs> um, thanks for watching this video and please leave a comment if you have any questions or queries on uh, how to install this ROM or any questions uh, so like I said I put the links in below in the description and I will also include the link to um, to the main forum on XDA if I can find it because I don't know if there is one I think it was just an odd post in a thread so, um, so yeah thanks for watching